Hey guys, Opto here again. Here we are looking at Reaper and sidechaining. The sidechaining can be used for things like DSing. In this case, we're looking at it in regards to just keeping a little bit of that kick drum consistent while you've got the bass playing. You may have heard about this before, just ducking the bass a little bit just so you can keep the consistent beat of the kick drum driving that song forward. So there's two ways of doing this inside of Reaper. One, you'll need a plugin that actually has a sidechain extension. So that's like the Black Rooster Audio Blackface SC5. That has an external input. A lot of compressors don't. So what that means is they're sent, you're sending the signal straight into the compressor and that audio gets affected. Whereas what we're wanting to do this time is we want to put this effect here right on top of the bass track and we want something else to trigger the compression of how that audio is going to come through. So we want it to be able to duck the bass when the kick drum kicks. So normally what you would do is you'd take a send from your kick drum and send it straight to that bass track. And we can send that in pre-fader. So that way, regardless of the fader settings on the kick drum, it's always going to get a constant signal from that audio file. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a listen to what we've got before we engage it, and you can get an idea of what's going on with the bass and drums. Okay, we've got it set for on and got quite a high gain. The ratio is very low and uh, I don't want it to be too extreme. The attack, I got it very fast for the kick drum and quite same with the release. So you can play with the release so that you can actually feel the groove of the song and have it sit where you want and get that pumping effect as to how it sounds. The output I've had to dial back, sidechain extension is set to in, so it's listening for what's coming in that kick drum and it will change the audio signal of the bass respectively. So let's have a listen to it without that at the moment. And then engaged. So you get that really cool pumping effect, and of course that adds a little bit of dimension to the song as well. So let's do the same thing again, and this time we'll use the rear comp, the stock plugin. Okay, so same principle, we've already sent a send, so if you haven't done it already, what you would do is grab your send from here, drag it and drop it into here, put it into pre-fader, and make sure you've got this set for the auxiliary input. That's what's going to be listening. It's like your side chain of the uh, black face above. Okay, so let's go back and listen to what we had before and after. So at the moment, before. So that one's set for quite extreme, so you can hear the differences. So this time with the uh, with the rear comp, we'll actually just fade back in a little bit of that uh, dry signal and just grab some of that top end back again. Well, there you go, guys. That is side chaining in Reaper. So hopefully it's been helpful and just a couple of different ways to do it. Look, if this video has helped you, please share it to somebody else who's using Reaper. I know Reaper users are very passionate, and that's a good thing. And this is one of the reasons I like Reaper. There's lots of cool things that you can do with it. So if we've got a good video today, guys, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And happy mixing.